नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू सनसेट टेलीविजन आई एम राजीव कुमार सिंह एंड यू आर वाचिंग संवाद इन दिस प्रोग्राम टुडे वी वुड बी इंटरव्यूइंग अ मल्टी फेसिटेड पर्सनैलिटी द पयोली एक्सप्रेस एज शी वॉज नोन ड्यूरिंग हर हे डे एज एन एथलीट एंड हर करियर हैज टेकन डिफरेंट ग्राफ आफ्टर रिटायरमेंट she has been an sports administrator now is a parliamentarian let us welcome pt usha thank you so much thank you. welcome ma'am i'm a child of the 80s and when we were children we were often given a quiz question related to your name <laughs> yeah pt usha and often we children were said that uh, while you are able to finish her name she would be able to finish 100 meter race meters, yeah <laughs> you must have uh, heard these stories how yeah. fascinating was it wow well, because people used to tell me so tough name it is even for sometime if i go from here uh, and uh, when it goes to the accreditation card you know when i got participation so it was a big name it will usha will won't be there pila bulagandi take parambel only <laughs> so uh, it's it's in and, and lot of people even now also used to tell me that when I, when they are in younger age and they were trying to um, uh, my heart my name so that it will it will come in the quiz quizzes and all <laughs> so so, mm, so yeah, i'm yeah, happy yeah. about it man because it's tough but <laughs> but i always love to be pt usha yes, <laughs> to hear yes, that yes, yeah yes. Ma'am, how did you get attracted towards athletics? Uh, you were spotted by O M Nambia sir uh, in 1977, is it? And uh, yeah, yeah, he yeah. went to some sort of a prize distribution ceremony and saw you and thought that uh, you were very athletically built up. No, it, it's it's not like that actually. When I was very active in my school days, in my so when I was studying in the fourth standard. Uh, the actually uh, because of see my activeness my physical education teacher of my school one mr balakrishnan master he made me to run with the champion of the dist sub district she was also in my class my school she was in 7th standard i was in 4th standard but i it was a fun for me because i'm running with so many champion do you know mm. uh, i said okay i will run so in drill period he made me to run with the, the lady uh, uh, champion lady so i ran with her and i won the race so you know the child mind i was so happy that i uh, i won with her i have seen nambiar sir only when the competition comes uh, he used to do because he used to every time he used to wear cap and walk uh, uh, um, uh, that in the stadium and all in the ground so that only glimpse of thing i have seen him but from when i passed 7th standard mm -hmm. kerala government first time started sports school sports division oh. for girls it is first time boys it was one year uh, before they have started in gv raja mm -hmm. so my parents my uncles they were one one uncle was advocate and one uncle is teacher so he was a teacher also in my school my uncle so my physical education teacher and they are my uncles interest they, they because they have seen the advertisement in the paper uh, sports divisions uh, admission so they took me to primary school for the sports school selection so i went and participated all the events and i have, i won all the races and from there they took me to trivandrum for the second selection there also i ranked first this was the year in year it is in 1976 77 76, 76. so 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 from there i could get selection in kannur sports school mm -hmm. so there 40 athletes were there initially mm -hmm. but nambiar sir was the coach in athletics mm -hmm. there he started he saw me from there only mm -hmm. in in really actually but mm -hmm. maybe in ground and all maybe he have seen my rise i don't know but from there it is really my sports career starts. but then you were still very young say around 12 13 years around 1977 i yeah, suppose yeah it will be it, it will be 13 13 13 years, 13 years yes. how were you able to convince your family that you want to pursue athletics as a career no because my parents are supported me my uncle one was advocate and one was a teacher of my school only so they only took me to the sports school selection in poramari and then afterwards in trivandrum it was tough but uh, but running i always like so i used to go to the ground around uh, get up around 5:30 and go to the stadium 6:30 and if i if we if i go late for 5 minutes also i get punishment like everybody get punishment from sir and then uh, and whatever uh, nambiar sir says that no exercise and all i used to get demonstrated first and uh, 
uh, I used to get lot of seats. He used to offer seats for uh, those who do good demonstration. But I used to get more seats. Mm -hmm. The same year I participated without much training. I participated the district meet in Kannur. I ran with them and I came first. So I got it selected for the state meet. Then when I went to the state meet, but I could not win the same story because state meet there also people used to come with the training. Mm -hmm. And one lady called Srilada, she won the medal in 100 to 100. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was out from the heats itself. Mm -hmm. And when she was getting the medal, I was uh, looking at her from the far. Okay. Then from there I made my mind that next time I will win oh. <laughs> my race and then we will go yeah, from there. Yeah. Then I started doing training for Kandu, uh, my division in Nambiar, with Sambiar sir. And then whatever he says, I do. The next year onwards, I started winning. Then. Like when I was 14 years, I used to win 100 long jump, high jump, short put in nationals, not only state meet nationals. Mm -hmm. And after that, there is no 200 in under 14. I used to run in under 16 also. Mm -hmm. There I used to win. And that time, when I was in 16 years, mm -hmm. I used to win in women's section. Because now, see, children, people are having a lot of facilities like after under 16, under 18, under 20, 22, then women comes. Mm -hmm. In our time, under 16, then straight away women. Straight away. So that is why in 1980, I ran with Rita Sen and I came first with her. Mm -hmm. That is why when I was 16, I could get selection in the 1980 Moscow Olympics. In a way, ma'am, for the men folk, they were athletes uh, like Milka Singh and uh, Gurbachan Singh Randhawa. But for women folk, you were in a way a torch bearer, a trailblazer as they say. Uh, how inspiring it has been for you as an achievement to be able to motivate that sort of a generation into athletics and other sports too. I read about Parakam Singh and Parakam Singh is Milka Singh, no? Mm -hmm. Flying Singh. Parakam Singh in Malayalam it calls Flying Singh. Mm -hmm. So I read about him and but for me, when I started winning the medals, I wanted to break always records. So I started doing good, good performance and, and I think a lot of people inspired from they even now also I used to meet many people from the they all come and take photograph and they, they, they you are the inspiration for us every time. Ma'am, how important are coaches for athletes? Of course, you need to have that sort of a talent to begin with, but then to be spotted at the right time. Otherwise, you won't be able to judge that how good you are or where you need to be working to achieve, uh, say, international standards and then going to the Asian and the Olympic standards. Very important. You should believe, uh, first of all, when you, give the, when you do the training. And if you don't believe your coach, and then it is very difficult to. So, because whatever, you should have the combination actually, like, coach, what he says, you should learn. Mm -hmm. And whenever I do training, I used to ask my coach also, this is for what, that is for what, why you are giving so much, and why what for, and he used to explain me all those things. Uh, Tintu Luka was one of yeah, the Yeah, she was very good, and mm -hmm. she did good, and even she was so, and she was so good, and very good, uh, talented, and uh, hard worker, and she could come up to the semi-finals, Olympic semi-finals, and uh, she won the Asian Games gold also. Mm -hmm. But whatever I could get, my family support, that much she couldn't have. That is why. Otherwise, she could have done much, much better. Are there any more prospects in Kerala and other areas of your work? Yeah. I have one more girl, uh, Jisna Matthew, and she is good and she is in the camp now for the national uh, national camp for the Paris Olympics also. And she is the Commonwealth Youth Medalist and Asian Youth Gold Medalist and Asian Champion in 400 meters. And she is now trying for relay in 400 meters. In the 1980s, you of course were in your prime and there were other athletes like Shiny Wilson and then uh, Valsamma was still there. Can we say that that period was the golden age of uh, Indian female athletes, so to say? In our time, not much facilities. Even I could see the synthetic track when I went to Moscow Olympics. We have done with all odds. Mm -hmm. But I am expecting much, much good performance now because facilities are improved. But otherwise also Asian Games and all, we have started showing the performance. See, 107 medals. Earlier Asian Games only 77, no? So this time we have won 107 medal. So it shows that players are doing good. 
and even we started winning the medal in athletics also we won the gold medal also in athletics you mentioned about uh, the los angeles uh, olympics ma'am and how you miss it by a whisker say 100th of a second it was a false start to begin with there in that and then your rhythm somehow uh, did not get back and then yeah. race restarted my problem was there in 1984 only only before going for olympics i ran only two races in my life 400 hurdles my life i did before olympics two races here and one in inglewood america mm. so the, this two races also with the 40 meters of lead so no exposure at all for me oh. when i went to the olympics los angeles inglewood there is a grand prix race i saw participated and i won with the american i i written the that uh, judy brown king from america and won the race mm. that is only with the confidence i ran olympics mm. normally olympics olympics you know people used to participate 15 20 races in europe and then go for me all life did only two here and one there and the fourth one was olympic heats mm-hmm. actually heats i did second and semi finals i did first mm-hmm. and the finals what happened my, my coach told me that i ran a first hurdle very slow 6.8 seconds mm-hmm. so if i improve my performance f- uh, first hurdle 6.2 normally i do go for 6.2 seconds oh. so that day i went slow so if you go 6.2 you will be the winner he told me so my full concentration was on uh, start <laughs> and not only that everybody was expecting hockey medal and my semi and hockey semi was the same day so hockey is already lost and people started because i won no gold ma- uh, in first semi finals <laughs> so people start coming in and pressurizing <laughs> but i used to leave the people and go i don't want to <laughs> mingle with them because he'll get more tension <laughs> no <laughs> so the next day i came i prepared very well and i went for the start my concentration is only on first hurdle first hurdle because afterwards i know that how i'll go i'm sure that i'll do but first hurdle but my first start was very good and it was perfect and if it got that rhythm could have won the medal yeah. but after my start after start only mm-hmm. that from the girl who ran in the seventh track no debbie flumd of australia mm-hmm. after one step she has just falling down no just, and that coach that uh, the the referee has recalled the race normally there no need after one step mm-hmm. but he recalled so i started getting shivering my mm-hmm. my i was full tensed oh. my concentration full gone mm-hmm. but if i get 5 minutes i will be in okay but they nobody will give you 5 minutes no so just come back and started it was shivery so first hurdles i went very slow it was 6.9 seconds even also if you see that you can see that i am crossing ekdam last <laughs> and this eighth member then after that hurdle i am going last and when i am pa- my plus point was first three hurdles i go fast <laughs> and then second and another two hurdle i'll relax and then i accelerate but there i did ulta because first i did went went slow i am last i i know that i am going slow mm-hmm. so from the wrong side i started increasing so we, so increasing the speed slowly when eighth i am crossing the hurdle then i started seven six well when it crossed the eight hurdles i had come to the position of third mm-hmm. eight hurdle then when i came the seventh i came to second position mm-hmm. but when i was in 10th 10th hurdle the the girl from behind that judy brown came from the a track she has come she was landing i am on the hurdle my leg is in front i could have dipped my chest ahead mm-hmm. could have won the medal but this and all will come with exposure no exposure. i have no exposure so i missed it by 100th of a second but it was the closest finish ever in the end it is still ranked uh, yeah rank. it, it 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 always because i got, i have lot of a uh, talent but i couldn't do uh, but it is lot of talent with all struggle but i could reach that at least i could reach that coming to the asian level uh, you had a fierce rivalry with the filipino lydia yeah. de vega yeah. uh, sometimes you won uh, she was better in 100 meters mostly yes. you were better in the 200s and it was a very charming sort of uh, you know awe inspiring rivalry uh, <laughs> let us let us know Uh, about that too. yeah because sometime i used to for me 200 and 400 and all no chance of winning lydia i win every time mm-hmm. but 100 meters it comes change sometime me sometime she she win more and in 1985 uh, jakarta i won 100 meters running yes. 11 3.9 seconds yes. same lady had come to the asian games and i came all the events 
200, 400, 400 hurdles, all I won with the record, but 100 meters I lost with her and came second. It was like that and it was good uh, rivalry actually yes, yes, yes. and outside we were very close friends yes, yes. and they used to, she has given me even now also I have that one with me one silver chain with coins no silver coins mm -hmm. and with her father has presented me that you have also acted as a sports administrator now you mm -hmm. are the president of Indian Olympic Association first woman president of uh, IOA how has been the tenure like and uh, what are issues that you have been pursuing after we uh, yeah, we, we are new IOA comes and we have one uh, India have one hundred and zero seven uh, Asian Games medals I'm so happy mm -hmm. and this time this is the second major meet is coming to be in Paris Olympics so this time we uh, actually we are prepared very well like uh, um, uh, players are training in different, different venues and different places and different and uh, some of them are outside the country also mm -hmm. uh, so we this time uh, we could get uh, good sponsors also and uh, we are going to set uh, set up the india house there this therapy also this time with the, our play, uh, players mm -hmm. and uh, mental uh, mental wellness uh, uh, experts also with them and uh, india's uh, uh, very sports science uh, sports medicine experts also is accompanying the players and good physios and nutritionist and uh, and some of the venues are very far from shooting and golf mm -hmm. earlier uh, uh, olympics because some uh, our uh, one of our player didn't win medal because they are traveling a lot or something I could read in the paper so we were very much careful on that this time so golf and all we have close to that uh, venue we have arranged the room for them even for we are expecting more federal uh, medal from shooters for them also we arranged a special one and whatever we could do we are doing for the players our priority for our athlete when our olympic association priority is for players mm -hmm. so we are we don't want to give any pressure on players and we wanted very peacefully they should participate with fighting and mm -hmm. we wanted our country we should get more medals and uh, and even uh, this time the uh, i think uh, first time in uh, indian history uh, one lady is going to be a chief mission mm -hmm. and uh, she is also an our uh, leading uh, Mericom he's an Olympian and world medalist and Olympian medalist and that also from women part so I'm so happy and not only that and she and uh, deputies also from our sports mm. uh, Olympians oh. so everything we, so and we want to do more good in future and uh, and now we have a good schemes like top scheme for helping the players in first second third mm -hmm. so uh, and f some small support for fourth fifth sixth mm -hmm. and they will also do good yeah. so yeah. we are olympic association thinking to support if first second third if top supports we want to support fourth fifth sixth mm -hmm. people also mm -hmm. and we wanted to encourage the ex olympians also providing pension and all those things we are thinking in that way also whatever we could do for players mm -hmm. and coaches we want to do and we were for Olymp olympic association is for players and uh, at last and we want more medals from for our country great to learn great to learn ma'am but uh, realistically uh, we have been improving over the past two three olympics but uh, realistically how many medals this time so so um, I, I am expecting more than earlier one but i don't want to count do we do we do we get into double figures i uh, so uh, i hope that we will get uh, i hope but i don't want to say that how many and all those i don't want to give any pressure on players the year 2022 was very important for you mm. by the end of that year you were elected as uh, the first woman president of IOA but before that in July yeah, yeah. you were nominated as Rajya Sabha member yes how has that experience been and what are the issues that you are are you <laughs> willing to pursue in Rajya Sabha actually I was not at all expected and dreamed that one day I become MP or IOA president but somewhere or other I think because I have reached there I think whatever MP could do from there I am doing it for uh, first time that uh, uh, vice president made me to sit in that 
<laughs> vice chairperson chair also mm -hmm. and i was so scared earlier and he motivated me and he has yeah you happen to be the first nominated <laughs> member to be in the vice, vice chairperson's panel as panel yeah. uh, and i i sat there and and i i went and asked sir so i am junior here as an mp and why you want to make me to sit he said that you are the deserving person you have to sit and he motivated me guided me and so it was only because uh, good guidance from there no so and our vice president and the people who works there so it was good that it's a good experience for me it was so much so challenging and it was so good and uh, now i am happy and i could do now and even some bill also some bill passing time also i was chairing and mm -hmm. women bill when it comes also i was sat in that chair yeah, it has a good experience for me we find you to be a very <laughs> serious rajasabha uh, uh, mp attending almost all the sessions that you could probably yeah, do yeah uh, first three, four four five sessions i have an 100% attendance mm. so it means that overall if you take about minus 96 percentage of attendance is there for me mm. i used to ask questions also mm. and i have attended even in small small debates also and then and uh, uh, mps have five five crores uh, mp lad for the improvement for the places no mm. so that also i utilized properly i have taken one adarsha gram in uh, kottayam mm. district and pallikathod mm. there i am i spent from mp lad also and lot of 75 lakh uh, schemes i am doing there and uh, 10 up to 10 years uh, that insured all 10 year girls are insured first uh, uh, gram that full are insured there and we are doing lot of things and uh, physically enabled uh, disabled people na mm. for them we had kept the uh, camps there and we have selected 500 people and we are going to provide the equipments for uh, physically enabled people atm no health mm -hmm. atm mm -hmm. it, it 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 is i think 30 lakhs or something like that it it for my this thing it's coming to the uh, vinard uh, hospital uh, they were going to now they going to install that for the uh, people there so doing lot of things there and um, pn pmnrf mm -hmm. i am not at all labs my every pnrf i used to fill and send it to pmo and everything 65 lakhs rupees also people got those who are having kidney problems and uh, those who are having cancer patients and all helped a lot the most important thing that you really want to pursue in the left term that you have one most important thing that you want to pursue as a as a member of parliament though i am they have made me as an mp also but i do go more on sports <laughs> i always like to do more on improvement of not only for politically but i wanted for more on sports oh, improvement mm -hmm. so i wanted our country in top 10 mm -hmm. top 10 can when because uh, the, the uh, our country is going to host uh, bid the olympics in by 2036 yes. and at the same time we should be in top 10 and as an mp whatever i could do for people i will maximum i'll do it will not go for laps and wherever but whatever i my happiness is there wherever i go ministers used to help me whatever i ask they are providing and they are giving and full support oh. everywhere even my sansad gram every support is there from pm outside everything so it is good it is for people only any messages that you want to send to say the budding sportsmen or youngsters or for uh, women folk in general see message is this only me see me i never thought that uh, i have one day i will become the member of parliament or the uh, india's most apex body of indian olympic association as president so i showed that so village girl can come reach there so it's all because of my achievement in sports so if you want to achieve things and do everybody have the talent in different field do keep the aim do lot of hard work but don't wait for the facilities or anything like it you may have lot of hurdles in between but do cross that and do continue your uh, to achieve your goal and you will be the successor one day that is that's what i am now <laughs> at that note ma'am thanks a lot uh, for your time on sunset television thank you so much